We're on our way to Newfoundland, the most eastern province in Canada, and because it's an island, there's only two ways to get there, a ferry and a plane. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you what it's like to take a ferry from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland. In all the times I've been on this ferry, this is the first time I knew that they actually had beds. <laughs> Really, really beautiful. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. After almost a decade of world travel, we decided to focus on our home country of Canada and see how deep we could go. This started with a 150 day road trip from coast to coast to coast, showcasing some of the best things to do in each province and territory. We thought we'd see it all on that road trip, but we barely scratched the surface. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on Earth. My father's from Newfoundland, so I've been on this ferry many times. It leaves from North Sydney, Nova Scotia to Port of Bass, Newfoundland. It takes about six to seven hours and there's two crossings, one in the day and one in the evening. We're gonna be crossing in the day. It's quite, it can be quite busy, so you definitely need to book your tickets in advance. We actually um, had breakfast just before coming here because you need to be here two hours in advance just to line up. So we just checked in and now we're basically playing the waiting game for the next two hours. Something that you need to keep in mind is that you gotta bring everything that you might need because once the car is locked, you cannot come back to the car. In all the times I've been on this ferry, this is the first time I knew that they actually had beds. <laughs> Ah. Now I just want to show you the ame amenities that we have in our small room. So of course fresh linens. You even have like this like kind of a thicker blanket. There's some fresh towels in case you want to have a shower. There's even a plug in here. There's a radio. And we even have a small TV. Not the biggest TV, but I mean, considering you're on a ship, it's pretty good. There's also more puke bags. Yes, these are nice to have every, everywhere. A full-size mirror and your hair dryer. Weird that it's outside of the bathroom, but I guess it's just for saving a space. And now our big ensuite. Okay. Well, it's just like a standard bathroom, I guess. Here you have your shower, your toilet, and soap and a sink. So it's pretty good. Well, this is pretty nice. The only thing is there's no window in this cabin, but there's all different kinds of cabins you can book. This one's a two bed berth. There's also four bed berths. And I even noticed that there's one that comes with a king size bed and I'm pretty sure a window. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna be getting that bed on the way back. Well, we're not gonna be using the bed that much because we're traveling during the day, but we're just gonna leave our stuff here while we go and explore the ship. Let's go. Well, our berth is located on the eighth floor. So that's pretty much where all the berths are found. But from what we can see, you can hang out probably the seventh, eighth and ninth floor have different kind of rooms with seats and stuff like that. And the 10th floor has a deck, which I'm excited for. But this is gonna be a bit of a different trip because as you can tell by the mask, right now we're traveling during COVID. So the main restaurant and bar is closed down. There's normally an arcade, which could be a little bit of fun, but that's closed down as well. So I'm not sure what there is to do, but let's go find out. 
We're about a half hour into the trip and I still have service, which is surprising because I have better service than I did at PEI. But there's Wi-Fi on the ship as well, so just in case you're wondering, don't worry. Another thing you'll find all over the boat is puke bags because it does move sometimes. We're starting to feel it right now. But one thing we recommend is taking some gravel. We took ours about two hours before getting on the ship. All right, well, there's some recliner chairs in this room. Again, the bar is closed, but at least you could find a nice chair. Even if you don't have a cabin, I can imagine these chairs being pretty comfortable to sit down in and maybe have a nap. Kind of looks a bit weird right now because of course they've sectioned off some chairs due to COVID. So there's plastic all over the place. Looks strange. What is this? That's what you don't want to be in because that would mean we're sinking. Oh really? Well that's like the, the survivor boat. <gasps> I'm probably saying it in a weird way but you would get in that if the boat's going down. Yeah it actually says that it fits 70 people. Now we're heading down? Now let's go to the seventh floor. So this is where you'll find the only cafeteria that's open right now. Things like pizza, energy drinks. All the chairs seem to be quite comfortable. This is the reception. If you had to check in or talk to anyone in any way, this is where you would go. And normally that would be the restaurant and bar, but it's closed. Maybe a sneak peek? That's where the staff is having their break <laughs> and lunch. <laughs> and I guess every single floor has a break that you can go outside. That's why things are a little more expensive in Newfoundland. They all have to come by ferry. <laughs> well, we already show you the eighth floor. That is where we're staying. But since we're in num floor number seven, now we're gonna take the elevator to deck number nine. So, you have your Riva Cafe. And it seems that in every single floor you have the comfortable chairs. Maybe some more fancy than others, but here, you can get your coffee, muffins, ice cream. Oh, too bad that it's closed. Look, they even have blankets. If you get cold, you can grab a blanket. That's nice. Green. These doors are so heavy. Oh, thank Those you. Those doors are really nice, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> he finds them nice and I find them so heavy. You don't see nothing else but water. So let's see what's in the upper deck. So there's a bunch of benches here. And it's so funny because as soon as you sit down here, because you're getting more shelter from the walls of the ship, it's less windy and less cold. <laughs> this ship is so big that they even have a helipad. So that's it. As you can see, it's not quite as nice as the Titanic, but still pretty nice. It takes you from point A to point B. Without hitting any icebergs.
Well, as you can imagine, considering you're on the ship for about eight hours, you're gonna wanna eat. So we had heard that the restaurant was closed, so we picked up a little sandwich from Tim Hortons and that's what we're gonna eat. cabin doors open upon leaving your room. All right, well, we just landed in Port of Bass. We got the message through our radio that it is time to, to get off. So right now, all the people with vehicles are the ones who go first, and then whoever doesn't have a vehicle goes last. Well, we're back in the vehicle now. We just arrived in Port of Bass, Newfoundland. It's 7 p.m., so unfortunately a little bit later than we imagined getting here. So we'll be driving a little more at night, but uh, we left at 12.30 and it's seven now, so it took six and a half hours to get from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland. Well, we're back in line again for the ferry, but this time we're traveling from Port of Bass, Newfoundland back to North Sydney, Nova Scotia. It's actually a very beautiful day, which is really surprising in October. It's warm, it's clear, the waters are super calm. There used to be actually a joke. My dad worked here for a year and he said he still never saw the place because it's always covered in fog. So I think he'd be surprised to see it this way. But yeah, we just arrived here. It, uh, the ferry actually leaves at about 11.45. You need to be here two hours in advance. So for that reason, we usually recommend either staying the night before in Port of Bass, so you don't have to be so rushed in the morning, but also when you're coming from Nova Scotia to Port of Bass, if you're getting here at night, we got here at about seven when we arrived and it was already sunset, and there's lots of moose on the highway. Like last night, traveling to Port of Bass, we had a moose right in front of us running along the way, so you don't want to hit one of those. Adios. So we actually stayed in St. Christopher's Hotel here in Port of Bass. It's actually a really nice hotel. It's huge. Our room was probably one of the biggest rooms we've had and there's really beautiful views from the window. So I can definitely recommend that place. But also for breakfast, if you want some tips, you can actually eat in the hotel if you're staying there. Of course, you'll find Tim Hortons, but there's always a big lineup. So make sure you add enough time for that. But there's also a little restaurant right here at the ferry terminal so once you get out of your car you can go in there and grab something as well but we should probably get on the ferry because I think I see people getting in their cars right now when you think about it how cool it is that this ship fits like trucks and I don't know I, I'm gonna say maybe hundreds of cars probably. like it's amazing that you can travel with your car on, on a boat. Well, this is pretty sweet because we got the owner suite on this ship. Uh, it's much different than the one we came over on when we had the two berth cabin for a couple of reasons. The most important one, we have two windows now. One on the side of the bed and one right behind the camera right now. But also look at this. We have a full queen size bed. We have a couch over here, which is gonna be much more comfortable. We actually have two TVs. Unfortunately, they're not working today. And we even have a little fridge. So this is much better. And what's, it's kind of interesting. I thought we came, I, I thought there was only like one ship. Turns out there's many. The one we came over on and the one we're going back on is the MV Blue Petis, which is the name that was given to the regiment soldiers that fought for Newfoundland in the Great War. But this is actually pretty much the smallest ship they have. They told me the other one, the Vision Quest is like the size of a cruise ship. But it doesn't really matter to us because we got the best room in the house. Are you gonna miss Newfoundland, baby? I always miss Newfoundland. definitely are some benefits to taking a ferry instead of a flight and this is probably the biggest one sure you can bring your car which is pretty nice too but for me it's all about these views it's just so incredible especially today the water is like very calm and flat the sun's shining off the water we can just start to see cape breton nova scotia right now and uh, this is the life this is really really beautiful so if you get a chance to take a ferry, probably anywhere, but definitely between Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, I definitely recommend taking it. We're now 
back in North Sydney. We, we got here about close to the seven, so right after sunset, and we don't recommend driving at night, as you already know, so we decided to stay at Chambers Guest House Bed and Breakfast. It's a really cool place, because where else can you stay in a house that's 141 years old? And then, to make things even better, they offer free wine, red and white, some chocolate bars, and even some nuts. Then check out our bedroom. That's a little pink for me, but I think Carla likes it. Yes, it's super pretty. I love the colors and also all the work that went into this. Like everything matches, even the pillows with the curtains and the wallpaper. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and for more information about Canada and different trips that we do across the country, visit our website at mozucanada.com. Well, this is pretty sweet. We this is because it's a sweet. <laughs> this ship is unsinkable. It's built of iron. I assure you, it can sink. <laughs> See, we we even know the lines. <laughs>